Today we're going to be looking at how to check the calibration of a pipette. Okay? To do that we're going to need some distilled water, pipette, pipette filler, thermometer and an accurate two decimal place balance. Now, the first thing we need to do is make sure that our balance is correctly set up. Okay? So, it needs to be firmly on the table and completely stable. On the back of the balance there's a little spirit bubble, okay, like a spirit level, okay, but in, in, instead of it being a line and two marks, it's like a bullseye. The bubble must be dead center of the bullseye, and it has little adjustable feet that allow you to do that. If it's slightly off, you will get um, error in your measurements. We're then going to take a clean, dry beaker, and it must be a dry beaker. We're going to place it on the center of our balance, and then we're going to tear our balance, or zero it, okay, so that the reading with the beaker on there is 0, 0.00. Okay, we're then going to take our pipette, and we're going to very carefully holding our pipette, okay, at the, at the end, nearest where we're going to put the filler on, okay, we're going to place it into our pipette filler. Now, it is only going about that far into you feel resistance. You must not push it out to the join, Okay, with the, with the side pipe or above, otherwise it will A, not work correctly and B, damage the pipette filler. The pipette has three marks on it, A, S and E. A is for air, for getting the air out of the bulb. S is for sucking up the solution into our pipette. And E is for emptying it. And they're little buttons, so you squeeze on the letter Okay, so we're going to squeeze on the A, we squeeze all the air out of the pipette filler, okay, and then it is ready to suck the solution up. We're going to place the, the pipette, the tip of the pipette, below the level of the solution in the beaker, but not so that it is touching the bottom of the beaker. Okay, we're then going to draw the solution up into the pipette by pushing the S. We need to be aware that when it's in move, the liquid is moving up the thinner sections of the pipette, it will move quicker than when it is in the main bulb. So be prepared that you will quite quickly have to release the S when it starts up the last bit. If it stops sucking for any reason, then you'll have to, you'll have to squeeze out more air and refill it. Now we want the bottom of our meniscus, okay, of the, of the solution, to be on the graduated line. Now, it's important that we check that the, menis the meniscus at eye level. If it's below or above eye level, we will not get a true reading on the meniscus on the pipette. If we have gone over and need to lower it, we very carefully will push the E to lower it into place. So now I'm happy that I have got the solution okay, to the correct level in the pipette. I'm going to transfer the solution using the E for empty into the beaker. That's the clean dry beaker that's on the balance. You'll notice that I lifted the beaker off, okay, put the pipette in and then put it back so that I don't run the risk of getting water into the electric balance. Okay. I'm not touching the bottom of the beaker, but I am keeping the tip of the pipette below the level of the rim of the beaker to avoid any splash or drops going elsewhere. I'm going to keep pushing the E till it stops coming out. Then we just gently touch the pipette on the side of the beaker to get any remainder out. Okay. And then I can take the reading um, of the mass of the water off. Now in this case I have 24.86 grams. Okay, so that is the amount of water I have in the beaker from this pipette. The next step we have to do is we have to record the temperature of the room. Okay, so I have here a normal standard thermometer that's been left out in the room for at least five minutes so that it can acclimatize to the temperature within the room and I can tell you reading off it that it is 23 degrees Celsius. Okay, so you'll need to know the temperature of 23 degrees Celsius 
and the mass of the water which was 24.86. So you can now work out whether this pipette is graduated or not, is calibrated or not. Thank you.